believers. I know the purpose for our why. Why we just can't get this thing together. Why we can't get through it. Why we can't get over it. Why things just don't go well for us. Why things continue to crumble for us. Why does things just continue to happen when we try to put things together, get over the hump, succeed, and do all that we're trying to do in life? Well, the purpose for the why is we've talked about it. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. The purpose is somewhere in the game, we forgot that God is our source. He is the source of all resources that we've had, that we have, and that we need. He is the source. So we're trying to do this thing without him. We're trying to, yes, grind for your family. Yes, make things happen. Yes, go for it, go for it, go for it. But we can't do it without him. He is the source. We've put things before him. We put things in his place. We've idolized things. We've bow down to things like money, things like um, a lifestyle because we want it so bad, we idolize it. And there's nothing wrong with wanting it. There's nothing wrong with going after it. There's nothing wrong with having it. But the moment that our motives aren't pure anymore, the moment that we're motivated by it, to a point where we're willing to do illegitimate things to make it happen, illegitimate schemes to, to obtain it, it's a problem. One quick thing when it comes down to God's purpose for our lives. I first one is he provides for us and our families. Two, God's purpose for our lives it include others. Three, God's purpose for our lives, it impacts others. God's purpose for our lives is generational. God's purpose for our lives is legacy. And it will forever live on. Pur legacy never dies. My point is, all the things that we're trying to do, all the things we're trying to accomplish, all the things we're trying to make happen, all, all the things that we're trying to make sure it's in place, it's in the package. God's purpose for our lives is a package. And if we do it his way, all these things will be covered. All these things will be attended to. All these things will be accomplished. So God's purpose for our lives, if we just seek first the kingdom of God, all these things will be added. But we have to we have to acknowledge that he's our source. We have to move knowing that he's our source, acting according to knowing that he's our source and allowing him to to lead us. Because all the things that is already ours. We have to go through God first. So all the things that that are, that's already ours, we're trying to do it and figure it out ourselves. When, for one, we don't even have to, and nor were we meant to. If we just acknowledge him as our source and allow him to lead us and show us because he know the plans that he have for us. If we just do it his way, I die. The desires of our hearts, he will give it to us. But it is only when we acknowledge, we live our lives as such, knowing that he is our source, not independently from him, not living apart, a life apart from him, but him as our source. 
And once we get that purpose, once we align that um, properly, we get aligned properly, then all these things will be added to us. Let's go. Love you guys. Stay blessed. Peace.